hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm bella so today i'm going to be showing us how to join our 1440 degree flare you see the flare is in four parts and you have to be very careful in joining them to achieve your neat finish so i'm going to be showing us how to assemble these flares together to give us our waist the waist circumference is 40 plus 2 inch train allowance for the zipper side so let's get started if you don't know how to cut this particular flare this is 1440 degree flare please check the description box below to watch my video on how to cut different types of flare so let's get started I've already gone ahead to iron the flares and also I've attached the bottom part of the flare with the lining. Just the bottom part, as we can see. Just the bottom part with the lining. I know everybody knows how to do this. Just attach the bottom part with the line. I've done that for the four flares. Okay, so let me teach us. Let me show us how to join the sides to achieve your neat finish inside. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, there are two methods in joining this. You know, you're going to be, you place the right sides facing the right sides like so right side facing right side like so you can see this is the right side and this is the right side so you can either join the the flare right from the fabric from the main fabric straight down to the lining like so you can either join it from the fabric straight down to the lining like so or the easiest this is the easiest though it's not confusing for beginners it won't be confusing you just join your front side right side to right side of the fabric and just stitch it down straight to the lining too like so but to be faster the first method is this now let me show us okay joining this together as if you're turning the shoulder of your clothes shoulder to shoulder of your clothes so you bring you push the lining to one side you push the two lining to be on one side like so all right push them to be on one side okay you can use your pin if if you're not if you can't hold it so this is it it's very short now unlike when you have to join the whole fabric then you join the lining so once you've achieved this just place it as if you're turning the the shoulder of your clothes okay so place it like this and sew straight up and let's do that now i will still repeat this process in the second one the third one and the fourth one okay make sure it's joining the is touching the edge just be careful just do it carefully i remember you added if you're sewing with half inch allowance we already added it to the measurement okay So, be careful to grab the boat lining. The two lining, you should grab the both of them so that you won't be sewing just one lining. Make sure you're grabbing the two lining.
and when we open up this is what we have can we see it very neat this is the neat finish and this is the back very neat can we see that the front and the back very neat so this is the simplest way of joining your 144 degree 1440 degree peplum so let's finish the rest i will still explain why joining this so you grab the edge of the next one like so pick up another flare like so front side the right side facing the right side like so can we see it the right side place the right side facing the right side like this then you push your lining remember we've already torn the bottom part of the fabric with the lining so you push your lining to the back as if you are turning the shoulder of your dress or your top the way you turn the shoulder of your dress or your top that is the way you will turn this to achieve your neat finish make sure you're grabbing the boat lining and the fabric together okay wow can we see this try to give it a nice press so can we see this very neat on the inside and very neat on the outside hope we can see this it's very neat on the inside on the outside and look at the inside and see this one so the one the first one we joined see the both of them very very neat can we see very very neat so i'll go ahead to join the remaining two the remaining one okay it's left we're well, left with one so i'll go ahead to join this So guys, I've joined the last one. Can we see how neat it is? This is the last one. And this is another joining here. And this is another joining here. But you can see everything is very neat. All you need to do is to give it a nice press. Okay? So I want to show us how to finish this edge because I'm going to be leaving it open uh, there will be zip here so I'll leave it open and we can't possibly leave it rough like this so we have to finish it up visible so all you need to do is to turn it to the turn the lining and the fabric to the wrong side and stitch it up individually now you're grabbing only two pieces the lining and the fabric for this one individually can we see just one lining and one fabric okay so you stitch it up So guys, at the end of the day, we have this. Can you see the edge? Very neat. Okay? And this is the second edge. It was sewn individually. Very neat. Can we see it? Okay? So let's go to the mannequin and see what our 1440 degree peplum looks like. Okay. 
Okay, guys, look at our flare. Our 1440 degree pep plum. Can we see? It's so full. I told us it will have pleat like structure, as if you gave it a pleat, but there is no pleat here. Can we see it's all forming? So, if you see this type of flare on a style that you want to sew, just know that this is 1440 degree pear plum. So, watch the videos on how to make this flare. It's on this in the description box below. I have a video on that. And let's check our neat finish. Okay. So this is a place we sewed one of the peplum together. Can you see? It's very, very neat. And also, let's check out another place. Okay. And this place. Can we all see? It's very, very neat too. So just give it a nice press. And here is your peplum. So give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos and leave your comment in the comment section below. You can follow us on Facebook, Sewing Support Group, SSG in bracket. You can follow me personally on Facebook. I'll leave the link below. You can follow me on Instagram too. I'll leave the link below. So see you guys in the next class. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.